Hello guys, welcome back to 1870 Blues, <clears throat> Tottenham 2, Everton 1. Just before we get into this match reaction, if you can like, comment, subscribe, let's hit 800 subs before Christmas Day. Don't think it's going to happen to be honest, but this defeat, it's not an embarrassing defeat. Uh, maybe that would have got me more views and subs, but listen, at the end of the day, it's a, it's, a, it's a tough defeat to take um, in terms of we actually played very well. Um, I won't lie to you, I haven't watched the game. Um, I've just seen the highlights and heard a few reports there and there. But um, I'm not going to go a big debrief, a uh, big brief about the game. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a tough pill to swallow. I think it's one of them games where it did feel like the start of the season again, where we probably did deserve to take something from the match. Um, and we didn't, and you know, small, um, you know, small margins. That's that's really it. And that's the reality of football. Sometimes I'm gutted that we've lost. You know, um, based on how we played. You know, if we deserve to lose, we deserve to lose. But a lot of people I've seen in the comments, a lot of Spurs fans reacted that we should have got something from the game, and it's it is frustrating, but. Um, you know, you're not going to win them all. We're not going to carry on the clean sheet thing. Uh, you know, the little run we're on. And we're not going to, like, um, we're not going to continue on the, the form in terms of the unbeaten run as well. That went on, you know, if you told me if you're going to win in the next six games, four wins and two losses, I would have bit your hand off. Um, and we didn't get passes. You know, it's mad because we've, Apart from the Villa game, I'd say this season, we haven't been battered by anyone. United score, uh, United winning 3-0, absolutely flattered them. Absolutely flattered them. We should have even got something from that game, which is crazy to say when you've lost 3-0. And today was just a tight, you know, it's normally Spurs kind of battering us. Uh, they've got you know, a very good record against us in the Premier League. I don't think they've won more games against than any other side in the Premier League than us, which is... A bit of a shock to me, to be honest, because it did feel like back in the day we did compete against them and we won some games at White Hart Lane and we won a lot at home as well, but clearly not um, in terms of the record books and especially in the num past number of years, apart from the 1-0 win at the ground in the COVID times. Um, we've had a really poor record against them. Uh, you know, We had the Michael Keane last minute equalise or whatever it was, maybe last season or a few seasons back. Um, but yeah, we had to put we have a poor record against them, and you know it was very worrying. You know, with Charleston scoring against us in the ninth minute, which is something I actually said to me match preview that I think you know he's going to score, um, and I could have put a bet on that to be honest. But you know, I'm not really a better man. But yeah, it's just not because of what he scored. You know, his little form recently, if you could say that. It's just I just had a feeling he'll score against us and. He did celebrate it and then realised who he was scoring against and yeah, kind of stopped, um, which I respect. I haven't really seen anything off him on Insta. I haven't looked, so I'll have a check after this video and see if he's put anything up about the Everton fans. But I think there was a video that he was clapping it towards the Everton fans at the end. He's never really had a proper goodbye, which is sad. Um, and I still miss Richie, you know, I'd love him to come back to the club, but yeah, you know, at the end of the day, he's got to progress with his career. Um, um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, he scores 1 0 up, and then shortly after, about nine minutes after, um, Son scores another goal against us, which is something I'm not, um, you know, I'm used to. Uh, poor from the defence, poor from the defence at the time. Uh, just all ball watching, really, and not really. Seeing that Son was on his own and you know just smashes it into the net, two 0 down. Bit worrying. I think they had a chance before that or after as well, um, but we looked all over the place in the first half an hour. Um, a bit shell shocked. I think the plans out the window then. Um, with Dice, you know he hopes to stay in the game a lot longer. And then you know his tactics really come into play then. Uh, to, you know, to concede in the first 10 minutes is an ideal for them and then again a second and 18th minute. Now what I'm proud about this team is, you know, last season or a few seasons back, we would absolutely crumble. At the thought of being 2-0 down in the first 18 minutes against a side we never seemed to beat, 
or we rarely beat. Um, and you've got to give credit to the lads that they, they stuck in. Um, we had a disallowed goal, watched it back, 100% disallowed, you know, to me in my eyes. You know, Andre Gomez clearly fouls him. He comes on for a just a kind of guy. I think he picked up an injury. Um, and Andre Gomez apparently played very well, which is an absolute shock. You know, there has been times in his Everton career where he's gone, he's had a really good game. One notable one for me, really. Um, as, I'm, as I watch the full game, you know, he might have had other good games, you know, where you're, three o'clock games where you don't see him as much or you don't see the full match. But you, I remember, I think it was in lockdown when we that season with Ancelotti and he was fantastic against Sheffield United away. Absolutely unbelievable. I honestly was thinking, have you got Andre Perlo in the mid in the midfield and Andre Gomez? He was unbelievable. I couldn't believe what I was watching. I, was, I remember watching him with my dad going, where does this come from? Sorry, where's this come from? This is like he's long ball pingers everywhere. He's he's gone past a couple of men each time he's on the ball. He was glad and he looked unbelievable. I was like, wow, what a baller! And then he's just been Andre Gomez ever since the original. Um, but apparently played well today. Uh, but yeah, he 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 did foul. Um, I can't remember who it was one of the Tottenham players and. It was a great finish by Cavaloon, um, which is a shame because it'd be good to see him back in the scoring books again. Um, even though he's still reasonably playing well up front, just not scoring, it's still good to see him score though. Uh, but listen, hopefully that gives him a bit of confidence. You know what I mean? He did actually finish the chance, so I don't know if that does anything for them. Um, but yeah, still two 0 got to him. And yeah, we had we I say after a half an hour, it just seemed like it was a lot of Everton, um, really. And you know, you could say we were unlucky to come away with nothing. Um, there probably was a few chances in between, but um, before the Everton goal in eighty two minutes, Andre Gomez, what a strike! Uh, ball just comes out of him from a corner. He just lays onto it, doesn't he? he absolutely lays onto it. Fantastic technique, bottom corner, very similar kind of place finish um like Calvert Lewin's disallowed goal and sh- yeah, just unbelievable. <laughs> I just cut when he come up in the scoreboard I totally, you know, forgot that he plays for us. Um I was just mad to see him score on his first return for Everton in about a year and a half or whatever it's been in his first goal, I think, since twenty nineteen, which is ridiculous. So yeah, fantastic. Um if you know, if Sean Dice can use Andre Gomez I'm all for it, you know what I mean? Players thrive off different coaches, maybe he knows his best. Maybe Dice is just a really good coach and knows how to get the best out of a player and maybe Andre Gomez is and that'd be fantastic because it'll just feel like a new signing. It'll feel, you know, just bulks up the squad a bit more. We've still got the two goalkeepers on the bench, which I think is an absolute shambles for the Premier League club to have. But that's the reality. I'm kind of used to it by now, to be honest. Um, but yeah, just a, um, and the Dan Juma, I think this is why he just doesn't start games. He just doesn't make the right decision a lot of times. It's very key times as well. You know, he's he's running onto the ball. You've got Beto on the side of him, screaming for the ball basically. And I think that to me, such a simple pass to Beto. If you're a good footballer and you know what you're doing, a simple pass to Beto. And I would have hoped, you know, their goalkeeper is a very good goalkeeper and played well today. But I just hope that Beto would have finished that off. Uh, but then Juba decides to take the shot instead, and it's still a very good shot. And uh, I can't, don't even know the goalkeeper's name to be honest. It's Picardio or something uh, tips over the bar, and then Dan Juma hits, which was on a lucky um, McNeil. Lovely, delightful little chip into the box. Such the act when it comes out to him, a lovely chip into the box, and Dan Juma's at the back post stretching like I'm not going to lie, and it's just so unfortunate. I just wish he scored. Um, I just wish he scored. Really got to him, but he hit the bar, bounces down, and it's it doesn't cross the line. It's just yeah, it's got to him. I'd rather that just not happen. To be honest, I'd rather just the game filtered out and we lost two one. Just really hurts a lot more when you had a chance like that near the end. Um, but it is what it is. We don't get much luck against Tottenham. I don't particularly like Tottenham. Sorry, any Tottenham fans who do like Everton who are watching this. Um, I just I just get annoyed with Tottenham. I think they they've had a lot of results in the past. I've hoped they had, um, hope they 
you know achieved and they've kind of let me down a lot <laughs> um maybe that's probably it. um on your you know you've got a bit of history taking some of our players i love steve and pnr they took him um and obviously richarlison um and i think there was another one as well uh maybe stephen davis i don't know if we actually got him from Tottenham to be honest um but yeah listen we've lost I don't think Tottenham are going to be too happy in terms of their performance and you know it's not going to fill them much with confidence even though I think this it's their third win in a row potentially uh, I think I can't remember um, but back to the drawing board well not really to be honest we get, we've got fucking Man City next and I just can't see now a City dropping a point again not again but in such a short space of time, I feel like they haven't won a game in the Premier League in ages, Man City, and I just can't see us beating them. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Maybe, you know, a draw wouldn't be the worst result to be honest. It really wouldn't, because we don't normally beat City now. But um, it's gonna be a tough game, no matter what. Rodri potentially could have been injured, but he's not. Um, so we've got that game midweek. Um, and yeah let's just all have a good christmas it's been a very good you know even if we lose against city and lose new year's eve we've still had a decent christmas you know we've won a lot of games we've picked up a lot of points um obviously the teams in around us won today which is very frustrating i can't lie and that's why i never say we're out of it because till the points tally adds up then it's it is what it is i can't believe how well bournemouth is doing i'm not gonna lie i just can't believe it i thought they would have been down there fighting um and yeah um you know you can only lose one game and then the other teams in around you where people don't think they're going to pick up any points all season because they just undermined these type of teams some of them need to get used to the league bear in mind and some of them are not as bad as people think they just lost a lot of games but they've been fairly unlucky um and you know i'm talking about losing likes of losing there but yeah all these teams have picked up points a couple wins down there and you know it's again it's 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 tight again down down there again um we're still 16th i think um but you know the gap is is has gone down to like four points now so you know again there's a likelihood that we'll get beat by manchester city and it could go to a point you know it gets it gets nitty gritty time again and um, it's been fantastic the rides we've been on in the past month or so but you know we've got to be real, real here I think us, uh, we play well today That's, this is what we've got to get out of it we've lost the game yes it's annoying yes 10 points deduction yes but we're actually playing well though we're actually you know there's a lot of these games where people say we're well, better than the other team and it's just nice to hear because normally we're absolutely dreadful what in, the, in recent years we have been so we're unlucky today. It's not been a battering like the five 0 last year. I think it was. Um, you know, you've got to you've got to take it positively. You know what I mean? Um, Guthrie obviously to concede again and Guthrie to lose away from home, but it is what it is. Um, and so to go into the Manchester City game, you can't just think you've lost already before going into that and just see what we can get out of it. And this has been a tough little week of fixtures come out of us, but um, yeah. Uh, just got to crack on, move on. There's game, winnable games out there. The way we're playing, I just love the way we're playing at the moment. So I just think we're a just complete different team, unrecognisable team. Um, and we've just got to keep that thought in our minds that we are we are a good team and we are competitive. And a lot of people are liking us this year and thinking that we can finish in Europe, which is not going to happen. It's not. Um, but possibly a top ten finish, which will which would be crazy. Um. But yeah, you know, normally I'm down and whatever. I obviously want us to pick as many points as possible. Um, I don't want to be in a relegation scrap towards the end of the season. It's too stressful. But um, I'll be, you know, I'm a lot more positive. Um, I've just probably the most positive I've ever been after a loss in, on this channel, probably, to be honest. But um, yeah, let's move on. Um, not the end of the world. And let's look forward. Well, let's try and look forward to the game against Manchester City. Other room, we've got to beat them at some point. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. And happy Christmas, everyone.